it has suspension. Hello guys, back with me again Julius. In this episode, I'm going to share you how to build a cheap and affordable RC eyeliners. This is part one of Boeing 737-300. My plan is to build as light as possible, as cheap as possible. It will use no edit, no, no EDF, no EDF, just twin motor pusher on the back of its wing. Uh, the most sophisticated uh, parts is only the landing gear. I have the retractable landing gear here. So the main focus on this part one is just how to install the landing gear. The other is very easy. Okay, here how the landing gear works. It has suspension. About it, the landing gear set about uh, forty dollars from Banggood. This is for the main landing gear. I will change the the wheel with bigger one so it will look scale. Okay, let's start building it. Print the plans on A4 or letter size paper. You can download the plans on the link in the video descriptions or you can go to paper-replica.com and browse on RC projects category. Cut the plans and combine them using cello tape. Trace the plants with pen on 5mm diapron foam or polyfoam. You can also use 6mm foam sheet. And then cut the foam with a cutter knife. We are going to build the fuse last. Make the score lines on the inside side of the foam by using a toothpick. We need to score the foam for easier bending. Make the distance between score lines no more than 3 mm. Roll the foam on the table while heating it with heat gun. Glue the foam to shape a cylinder. You have to hold still the parts and wait for at least 60 seconds to let the glue set on each gluing process. From previous experiences, just by gluing each end of the foam, we had an ugly seam on the bottom of the cylinder. It's hard to maintain the curve on the seam, so I made an experiment in this project by using a middle part to join both ends of the foam. Make a hole on the fuse last former using solder, so you can insert your hand inside to adjust the part when gluing. Add another former on the other end of the fuselage.
add score lines on the next part. Roll the part on the table. And then attach to the fuse last. Prepare all parts that made out of 3mm plywood. Insert the plywood constructions into the front fuselage. And then install the landing gear to the plywood platform. When I'm designing these plans, I was totally forgot about the steering arm on the landing gear. So I need to make some adjustment to the plywood platform like this. Attach the steering servo. I use Metal Gear 9 gram servo. Now we are going to make the landing gear door. First we need to add the front parts where the door will be installed. I added a foam prop under the steering post rod so the landing gear does not twist again when folded. Here I made landing gear doors with card paper but in the end I replaced it with mica plastic. After some trials and errors, this is what it came up. I used two wires connected to each door, so when the landing gear is up, the wire will pull the door close. In landing gear down position, it will release the wire with a screw as a weight ballast on top of it, 
so it will drop down when it release and open the doors. You can see more detail going on this simple mechanism in the model plans. You can adjust its wires by bending it slightly until the correct closed door position is achieved. Basically, the hardest step is already complete, which is the landing gear. You just need to continue building the nose section until finish. Then part 1 will be done. Remove the excess glue with a hot knife. Sand it with 240 grit sandpaper and water. Because of sanding with water, the paper doors are all wet and broken, so I made replacement doors with mica plastic. Cover the nose section with white packing tape.
use Uhu glue to glue the windshield. Cover the edges with Oracle stickers. Okay guys, that's all for part 1, building this Boeing 77. Uh, the next episode, I will make my own design, a uh, simple plane, easy to build. Uh, I will use that plane for FPV. After that, we will continue part 2. Okay, see you in the next episode.